Morning, everybody. Morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy snow day. Snow day. We, it, we've had a lot of snow, haven't we? Yes. A lot of snow. It was a fun drive in this morning. Yeah, it was eventful. Yeah. yeah. Event we, go, we made it. We made it. I love how snow day. Everyone just talks about the snow and the weather. Yeah. I mean, that's all. There's nothing else to talk no. about, is there? <laughs> Have you had much snow It's about as exciting as it gets, but it's snow on the, on, the, on the ground, which is good. Um, but yes, yeah, thank you for everyone for joining. I'm wondering if... Um, Who's going to be the first one to comment? Let's have a look. Who's our first hello today? Who not, is that? They've not said it yet because it's just us two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, but if you saw um, myself and Kirsty in the live, you, we were saying we're missing the L from the team. Now here is our L. We're She's missing here. the K. We are missing the K today. Yep. So well, one, day, one day you'll get all three of us. Don't worry. All three. Um, oh, first one. Um, Nicola, Nicola, um, good morning. Thank you for joining. Oh, Claire, Claire has joined us. We're getting some comments through now. I know it's a slight delay, isn't there? So, yeah. fingers crossed, fingers crossed, people will join us. I'm, I'm sure there's lots more people at home today. I mean, lockdown or not, I'm sure there's lots of people yeah, using snowed the old in. Snowed, in, snowed in excuse today. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, but today we are looking at four of our like. They're more like their kind of everyday sort of strollers, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, a little bit more robust, I would say. Yeah, a bit of a, a bit bulkier further. kind of um, put strollers that will kind of go over most surfaces, which is quite nice. Um, and today we will be giving away one of the lucky winners, um, a Claire de Lune cocoon foot muff. So it's a universal foot muff. <laughs> um, we've got it on our um, baby jogger. But I say it will fit on most push chairs, if not probably all strollers. Yeah. Because it is universal fitting. Um, so all you need to do to be in a chance to win the Claire de Lune's foot muff nice. is just, just to comment, just to comment, to join. Join in with the chat. Join in with the chit chat. We like a bit of a chit chat in the morning. Um, so yeah, just join in um, and just kind of watch us show you these four different strollers. But yeah, this, this comes in black. Um, your foot muff does. Which um, is great because like your little black dress, everything goes in black. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what, what colour your posture is. No. no, if it's green, black. No, it Cinnamon. would match. It goes, it's fine. But it's a really nice one, isn't it? Yeah, so nice and fleecy and lovely and warm. And then you've got, um, so you've got obviously your main zip down the middle, loading it one in and out. You can also, if you wanted to, take the feet off the bottom. So if you've gone somewhere for a walk, and especially obviously in the current weather situations, little one's feet are really, really messy and you think, I don't want them inside no. the footmore. You could always take that Some children just don't have their feet in as well, don't no, they? No, yeah, so. so they can be nice and snug and wrapped up, but take that out if you need yeah. to. And then you've got your little drawstrings at the top as well, so if you wanted to, you can always tighten up. Really cocoon Really in. cocoon around their head as well. Which I is like the zipper on the front because it just makes it really easy to get child in and out. Then, yeah, it? and it just fits in. I mean, it's difficult to see because it's black on black, but you've got your um, holes there for your harnesses and your crotch pad at the bottom, so it just fits in over your five-point harness. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really, really nice. I'm saying it will fit most strollers. Um, and it's quite long. I do like how it's a bit longer than most kind of average strollers. Yeah, you're not going to outgrow that too no. quick, are you? No, child, um, she would pl have plenty of room in there, which is really, really nice. Perfect for these snowy days. The snow is <laughs> definitely need one today. We all need one, like an adult-sized one for the office. <laughs> um, so some, uh, Kaz Hill has said, amazing prize. Amelia said, can't wait to hear about the other brands. I loved your out and about um, GT versus the nipper comparison video. Yeah, we do like to compare in just different, these are the four from very, four different brands, yeah. um, which is really nice, and they're all very different. Um, so we've got here um, the Joy Lytrax 4. Joy Lytrax 4 is really, really popular, um, and this is in the cinnamon colour, but it's also available in different colours, such as coal, their black colour, which is really nice. You've then got your Silver Cross Reflex. It's their the typical umbrella. Umbrella yeah. stroller, isn't it? But it's a slightly bigger one, isn't it? Yeah, it's slightly, slightly bigger, bigger, a bit wheels. more robust. Yeah. Um, it is a really, really nice, it's got a really nice premium feel to it as well. Really, really nice material. Um, then Laura's got there the Baby Jogger City Mini GT2. As you've mentioned, we've had it out before, but there's a reason. She's yeah. lovely. Yeah, <laughs> it is a very popular one. And then you've got the Baby Style Oyster Zero as well. Again, it's a nice wide and long pusher, yeah. long pusher seat, which children quite aren't going to outgrow it. Really, it's definitely one that people come in, isn't it? If they're like, my child's a bit bigger than average. Yeah, yeah, it's one that will definitely last <laughs> in size wise because the weight limit can be great, but if the seat's not big, your child's still not going to last in it. No, so, um, you want it to be a long-lasting pusher. 
Oh, Carol Newton, perfect for today's weather. Yeah, yes, the, Claire, it is. The, the Claire de Lune front is just what you need today. So say just comment. Um, everyone that has already commented is already in the draw to win um, the Claire de Lune foot muff. And like always, we just um, announced the winner at the end um, by either one of us. I don't know who it will be, but one of us will say stop and we'll just stop on a random comment. And then there's your lucky winner. But let's see. Um, who should we start with? Yeah, is the one that you, anyone wants to see? Do you want to start with Oyster Zero? I was going to say, cast your votes now. Oh, cast your votes. <laughs> yeah, let's just delay everyone. Um, well, yeah, which one, which one is kind of catching your eye the most? Because they are very, four very... Uh, I'm, I can see myself on here, but I can just see like, the, the typical three-wheeler looks so... Like, stands Different. out from the others, which is really nice. Um, Melanie, better than a, a side zip that always gets stuck. Yeah, exactly. You've got that zip through the middle, and it just means getting a little, little one in and out of there really, really easily as well. Yeah. All right. Shall I go with Oyster, since I'm here? I'm ready. I'm raring. Oh, I don't know. Someone said they love the city jogger, baby jogger. Okay, I'll go, you want to start I'll with go that baby one. jogger first, then, just because someone voted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laura doesn't need to be convinced twice. She, she, she no, has, she'll I'll go, go for straight one. for the GC. That's not a problem at all. Right, then. So, baby jogger, yeah, everyone's going baby jogger. So I think, oh, I think it's one. like you say, because it's three wheels, it stands out. It from does the stand other, out from the other others. ones. That being said, you can get your Lytrex 3, which is also a three wheel pushchair. Yeah. Just to confuse matters. Yeah. But. Right then, so if we start off with the seat as it is, obviously a bit like your um, Oyster Zero, where we say it's nice, big, long seat. You've got that really nice, soft, plush sort of cushioning on the seat as well, so it's nice and comfy for your little one. Um, really big hood as well as you can see so they've got that nice full coverage and then when you do want to recline your seat it's just on the drawstring at the back like so and i think what's really nice is you don't lose any of your hood no so your hood stays put you get this extra coverage at the back um so as you can see when they are fully reclined you, little ones still really nicely covered this is suitable from birth because it does lay completely flat so if you were to put an infant in here it's nice to have that peace of mind that they are fully protected yeah. you've got your little car for at the bottom there as well that you can just pop up it's like it's such a long seat isn't it I know. <laughs> yeah i mean if you do put an infant in there they do look lost <laughs> they do look very they do look very a bit small. lost but they'll grow into it don't worry <laughs> yes quicker than you think yeah <laughs> Um, but no, they're nicely protected, not only from the sun, but from the wind. So on a day like this, when it is really windy, you've got that nice protection on the sides. When we get to the summer months, we <laughs> will get there eventually. <laughs> At the back here, you've just got um, a bit of Velcro and you can roll up that whole back panel. And you've then got that nice big ventilation panel at the back as well. So that gives a nice good airflow for this one. And you've got a little toggle at the top just to keep that nice and tidied away. Just use your drawstring again and again you've got sort of infinite options really there's yeah. no set where you've got to yeah with well, most place. that have like you set just... points it's more like normally three isn't it yeah I standard think is three. three whereas that you can adjust it slightly yeah um which is quite nice so you've got lo loads of different options you have got a little extra pocket on the back of the seat as well which is really handy for any of your bits that you don't want rolling around in your main basket okay keep things close at hand your gloves, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's going to be cold themed today. Yeah, today. We can't imagine <laughs> summer warm because it's just not warm and summer outside. It's very pretty, though. It is it? very pretty, yeah. In your hood, you do have two options of a peak window. Okay, and they're nicely kept away with a good magnet, as we love a magnet here. Again, you've got a little toggle that you can use when you roll that up to keep it nice and neat and out of the way as well. No flappy fabrics no, for Kirsty. We no. don't like flappy fabrics. No, we don't. Keep it nice and neat. She'll be I pleased. think that's quite nice as well, because if you only have your hood half up, yeah. you've, you've still got, both got that options, haven't peak you? function to it. Yeah, it is nice. And a lot of parents, when they do change to a stroller, obviously they're losing that option to parent face, yeah. which can be quite a big step. Somebody did ask that. Is it only pet world facing? Yeah. yeah. So um, for... It's not just a big step for children. I think it's also a big step for mums sometimes. Yeah. They go like, I want to see them all the time. You used to see them. <laughs> you turn them around to be world face and you think, oh, what are they up to? So this gives you a nice little peep window so you can check on them. Yeah. You've got your five-point harness. So nice and easy. Just a button in the middle to release. Um, the parts do come apart if you want them to, like that one has there. It's just a case of slipping them back in. Okay, so if you need to separate them, if you've got a particularly wriggly child to get in and you need to do 
them individually you can do and then just clip them back in like so I'm just going to pop my calf rest down just a case of unlocking from the front I like that it kind of pops into place though it's nice and secure see I <laughs> I always talk about it because everyone knows I love it yeah um, I had the old version of this push chair and it didn't have that no you did, you did say oh how one. nice it is so I do like that they've added that now. And I like you can access the basket. It's a double feature, isn't it? Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, if you need to. Front. Oh, I'm just going to pop in the front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, as long as little one's feet aren't in the yeah. way. <laughs> Sorry, child. Off you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great. Um, obviously, as well, you've got your three wheel function on here. So I would say out of these four, it probably is the slightly more all-terrain yeah. one, isn't it? Out of yeah. all four. Um, Very but, similar size wheels, but... Yeah. Um, having that one wheel at the front though just makes it that little bit easier if you are going through uh, mud gravel even sand anything like that having that yeah. one one point at the front does make it easier to push your way through um yeah. than having the two but so for that reason only i would say it's slightly more all-terrain than the others um locking your front wheel is really easy i've got a little button just on here and i'm going to put my slider across so that has now locked my wheel in place so if i am going a bit more all-terrain or off the beaten track yeah. Or even if I'm just going for a really, really long walk, sometimes it's nicer to have them yeah. locked. Um, but it's really, I like the fact that how easy it is to swap it. Yeah. It's just pushing that button and sliding the button across. And you're not having to go under or towards the wheel. No, so you're that not going to get, any get too dirty, dirty fingers. Which is quite nice. Um, you have got a handle adjustment on here as well, which is done with a pivot. Yeah. So nice options there as and it's, well. It's, uh, one thing with Babe Jogger, it's quite, it's quite a tall push jet. It all is of them tall, are, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. They are pretty tall. Um, which is quite nice, but it, I like the fact that the handle drops down low. So if you are a bit shorter, a bit shorter. So we, 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 with our video consults, we like to sit there with push chairs. And I'm five foot goes, six. <laughs> how tall are you? <laughs> oh, I'm five foot seven. Yeah. So that's how tall this push chair is. Because um, yeah. it it's our new habit. We have to say how to. I've never ever go. By the way, I'm Georgia. I'm five foot six. <laughs> It's not something you just normally go right. tell people. But, but now everybody knows yeah. how tall we are. How, how tall is Georgia? She's five foot six. You now know. You now know. Because it's so hard with video consultations because they, they have no idea how tall you are to know how tall the push chair is. So. No. And it's the closest thing they can get, isn't it? To yeah. actually touching them in, in real life at the moment. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's her all functioning. And then you can add different things on here. So it is... Um, car seat compatible, it's carry cot compatible yeah. if you wanted to. So there is that option to turn it into a travel system if you Somebody wish to. Somebody is asking, is it suitable for running? No, unfortunately it's not. No. Like Even though it's a it three wheel. It is misleading being called baby jogger. Yeah, you would think you could jog. As we said before, but unfortunately it's not classed no. as a running push chair. Now we are not in denial. We know that there are people that yeah. run with non-running push chairs, but no, this isn't something we would it's sell as a it. running push no. chair. It's not got its safety handbrake for the main... Main Same reason. Thing, yeah. um, we do sell some um, running push chairs. Yes, and I think Joe is thinking about doing a running push chair live at some yes, point. Yes, so if you want well, to see so. one, let us know. Comment and let us know. Would you like to see um, a running push yes, chair? And is there one that you've seen and thinking, oh, I'd like to know a bit more details on? Let us know. Yes, because there is one uh, that we are waiting to build, isn't there? Yeah. Coming in store. We've got Very a short fun task of building one. So. <laughs> Um, but we no, love building a Do chair. comment what you do want to see because we do take those comments into consideration. Yeah. A lot of the times our lives are put together based on what people do want to see. So if you do really want to see that, let yeah, us know. Yeah, and at the minute, it's hard for everybody. You can't go out and see things. So yes, we've got video consultations, but you may just want to have a comparison. Just on the live, this is what we're here for. So if we can help, yeah. we will. Yeah. So shall, I, shall we fold? Yes. I think we've touched everything the else. The magic we? fold. So the fold on this one. In the middle of your seat, you have two straps. They are numbered, which makes life easier. So it is designed as a one hand. So I'm going to put my finger through one and my other fingers through the others. I need to pull one first before I pull two. And then yeah. the whole thing will collapse. I've then got an automatic engaged lock on the side. And I'm done. Yeah, really easy to fold, isn't it? You've I then sort of got an integrated strap to carry with as well. Yeah, so. really easy to carry about. Not that you're going to go shopping carrying your push chair, but <laughs> no. if you needed to move from what, nice point A it. to point B, you, you can carry it. It's fine. Um, Kira Bland has just joined. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Yeah, we're just looking at four, um, four very different strollers. Um, and today the um, lucky, well, a lucky winner will be winning the Claire de Lune Cocoon Footmuff in the black, um, which 
if I say really, really nice, well, it's universal will go on most shoulders. Yes. It's a really, really nice one to look at. I might just give you that. Actually. Everyone is saying, yes, I need to see running push chairs. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. There we we'll go. Be on to Joe when we get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Joe, running push chairs, okay? <laughs> we'll get the task of building the new one then. <laughs> Getting that up ready. So, um, like I say, I've got my safety catch engaged. So I'm just going to undo that. Now it's different, everyone does it differently and how they want to open it. Some people do lay it down. Yeah, I would Me lay from down. personal experience, just because of where I live, when I was using this exact push chair, I always yeah. did it from holding it up, just simply because I didn't want to lay my fabrics down. Yeah. But obviously if you are in a place where you can, then great. But if not, I would just always disengage um, my um, clasp on the side, rest on my wheel and then pick up. Yeah on the side like that. So you don't have to take it to the floor? No, you it's then automatically, um, with having that one-two system, uh, you're, you don't have to worry that it's going to collapse on itself. There are no. safety catches within there, which is why you've got one and two. You will never fold the push here just solely pulling on number two. No. So you will always have to do it is very. Um, it's a very high-end brand in quality and for finishes, and it's, yeah. it's definitely... Um, a very popular one, isn't it? Baby yeah. Jog in general, the brand. We only got it in store not long ago, didn't no. we? And as soon as we got it in store, it was flying. It, yeah, flying. And like, again, it's one of those, if you don't know about it, you don't realise. You don't realise what you're missing, really. Mm -hmm. it's like, it's a really. We put it out all the time now. With, and it's not just people who are really necessarily outdoorsy. Um, not necessarily. It's kind of, it's got so many really good features to yeah. it. Um, it's not just a stroller for when they're older, yeah. you can use it from birth and newborn as well, um, which is really, really nice. Somebody's asking what does it go up to, and um, it does go from birth because it's a life flat seat, and then it will go up to 22 kilograms. So, really nice. Yes. Yeah, really nice. Long, you'd think then. <laughs> I did have to think then, but yes, no, 22. Yeah. So, you're looking roughly four. Yeah, and because it's a nice long seat, um, it's, you don't necessarily worry about, need to worry about if the child's quite tall. Yeah. You may I not ever use it till four. I mean, it that's depends. the thing that's, like I say, I didn't have the older one, and I do think that's another improvement that they've made because yeah. the older one was only to 15 kg. Yeah. And my boy is very, very long, and he, did, um, he didn't outgrow the seat space, but weight wise, weight -wise we he were did, a bit like yeah. touch and go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're but, kind of like, oh, I shouldn't really, it's getting to that point yeah. now. <laughs> it needs to come out. So um, you have them written there. I don't have them off the top of my head price. No, don't worry. So your baby, this is the Baby Jogger City Mini um, GT in. Um, it varies in colours. There's a few different colour options available. Um, so a couple of colour options are on offer at the moment for 404 and 10 pence pound, which is really, really good. Really, really yeah. nice. Obviously, a good price. Um, and then they vary up to 449 pounds. So it's still a really, really nice price point, even if you want to use it as a second stroll, if you're quite outdoorsy. Yeah. Lots of, especially now, everyone's outdoorsy, yeah. really, aren't they? That's all we can but do. Like, but I... I mean, like, I had this from, from the birth, word go, yeah. um, and it's lasted really, really well. Yeah. Like I say, it's really robust. It, you can use the seat um, from birth in the life flat position, or you can get features um, and adapters so you can have a carry car and a car seat on there as well. Yeah. So really, really nice option to look at. Um, yeah, Debbie, Debbie Petit saying it's really confusing because it is called Baby Jogger, and you can't run with it. It is. It is confusing, I must admit. Um, but yeah, it's Baby Jogger, the City Mini there GT. Is, there is one called the Summit. Yeah, which we have been told by the baby jogger rep, rep can be used for running. Yeah, um, I've got to admit we didn't know that because the baby jogger website does state itself that it's not. But yeah. if, if the rep has said it is, then it yeah, is That's maybe what, yeah. it's just a typo. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the rest of the range unfortunately will not be um, advised as a running. Position. No, and it is confusing because a lot of people you would think three wheelers. You stereotypically think if it's in that locked position, you could use it for running. It's not necessarily the case. Um, it's a lot of features like Laura said, the handbrake. The handbrake yeah. is one big feature on a running push chair for safety, yeah. safety reasons. Yeah. Does it it's come also in? Also, not got um, the strap. No, your wrist support strap. You no, which strap. again is a massive safety safety feature on a push chair. Um, Josh, uh, Joshy, does it come in other colours? Yeah, it, it does. does come in different colours. Um, I'm not going to lie, they all are all pretty much shades of grey. Yeah, they're very practical. Blue. If you think about it, <laughs> they're kind of designed for a bit more of outdoorsy push chairs. So they, they didn't go for anything really. No, you're not going to get any bright pinks or, or, or creams, light colours. No, or light colours in yeah. a baby jogger. They're very dark. There is a variety. Yeah, but. variety, and they it isn't. They do have a really nice. I think. I don't know. I think as much as I love Jet, just been just been plain. Black and plain black, and it's the the elite. I can't remember what the color is called. Carbon, Carbon that's it. Yeah. It's like a bit of an off blue color. Yeah, that is really really nice. I can't believe how easy that is to fold. <laughs> yeah, I wish my don 
Bookaboo donkey was that easy to fold, yeah. I but think every it push does, there. It does have slightly less steps than yeah. a bugaboo. Yeah, I must admit. That one. <laughs> you must admit. I, I do like a pusher that's kind of a one easy step. Yeah. It's, it's also really up. handy, like I say, that it is one handed. Yeah. Because if you are holding, whether it be little one's hand or little one is, you know, or you're even holding your shopping bags, whatever it may be, it's yeah. great that you can do it all with one hand if you yeah. want to. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, Amy Sophie Grant Bethel. Um, I recognise that name. I think she's been announced, been out quite a few times in comments. <laughs> I, I'm starting to pick up people's uh, names from when Joe's saying. Um, would it fit in the eye candy orange? I believe that's your, I'm guessing you mean the foot moth, not the city mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this might struggle. <laughs> you could try. <laughs> but um, yes, the, um, your Claire de Lune cocoon foot muff will fit in your eye candy orange. Um, it says pretty standard to most. Um, ones I can think of top of my head it wouldn't go in is things like your egg and your oyster um, just because of your harness on there but most will if you wanted um, say you could always send a message as well um, yeah. if you are interested in something like this um, cause yeah because a lot if we have the push chair in store we could always just put it in and yeah. take a picture and send you it as well yeah. we've done that quite a few times I think the only thing that might be a bit lim like when little ones are really really tiny there is only one height on here for your yeah, harness so you, can't, so you might find yeah. it bunches a little bit some push chairs yeah have a bit of a they can change the height or it may just bunch a little bit um, price on this if you was to look at um, purchasing the Claire de Lune foot muff it is $24.99 for your foot muff so I feel like that's a really good price isn't it for yeah. one that's going to do all nice yeah and it, it may be the one, only one that you need which is really really nice <laughs> Debbie Petit, this is why I watch to see things that I'm missing. <laughs> yes, you can, we're all knowing, we're all knowing. We, we teach you all the things. Um, although, to be fair, it's almost dangerous because we always say, oh, what push share would you have next? Or what would you have? I'm like, there's just too much choice. There is a lot of choice. There's too much choice. We always say that if we could, we'd Frankenstein a push share, don't we? Yeah, could you design your own push share? What would you have? I'd have a bit of that and I'd put it on, on this one. I'd have that chassis and yeah. I'll have that seat fabric. Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Be amazing. Uh, Josh, Joshy, do you think there is a big difference in handling between three wheels and four wheels? Like Laura said, it's, it, when it comes to, if you're quite outdoorsy and you do go through those like, rougher terrains, a three wheel will kind of help guide you, push it through um, that multi-terrain surface a lot easier. Um, although saying that, a lot of four wheelers now yeah. are getting more multi-terrain. It depends kind of what sort of um, surfaces you're kind of going over, yeah. I suppose, isn't it? I think drive-wise, like as the driver, shall we say, if you can call it that, yeah. um, I think that the only sort of big difference that you'd notice actually pushing around is your curbs. You do have yeah. to approach your curbs slightly differently because obviously you don't have that no. two wheels that you can balance on at the front. Yeah. <laughs> so <Rip. laughs> a curb on a four-wheel, you tend to pop off yeah. and lift off, don't you? Whereas yeah. with a three, you just have to have the confidence to just push straight off because you're not going to balance on that one front wheel. No. But other than that... Um, like you say, it does come to the yeah. multi terrain. And it's really, really, considering it's a little bit of a bigger push chain, like that is in, it's quite tall, um, it's really easy to push, isn't it? It's yeah. really, really easy. And that three wheel kind of helps, kind of wheel you. Yeah. So around the shops and things, she's still pretty nimble. Yeah. yeah. So you, it's the only pusher you have, isn't it, for, yep. for Jackson? So, and you got on with it really, really well. So yeah. I am a bit biased. She is. She does. She, any anyone, baby jogger, think, Laura, <laughs> come on, Laura. Laura can take this anyone one. Anyone who tuned into the All Terrain um, Live will know I'm a little bit biased. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, Paige Thompson, good morning. Um, I love our three wheeler, yeah. So they are really, really nice, aren't they? I know you really like I do think if you've had one, it's hard to go it's back. It's hard to go back to a four. Yeah. I think it's easier to go from a four to a three than it is to go from a three to a four. Yeah. Just speaking from experience. <laughs> right. Do you want me to do the baby style or do you want to do one of yours? Um, oh, let's mix it up. Let's, shall I do one? Okay. Oh, are you going to trust me? I'm going to trust you with oh, the oh, iPad. Look at me with I've the given iPad. her the power. We always look feel up. like whoever's got the iPad's in charge. Yeah. So I'm yeah. in charge. Jo has put us in charge today. Um, <laughs> and she set us a More little... More for her. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe at my house and Kirsty's... Uh, my and Kirsty's didn't go too bad then. She's put the faith back into us. Yeah. And she's gone, right... You've done, uh, did 1,400 comments on that one. Like, come on, go, right, more yeah. hard work, more We're hard work. We're now in competition with Georgia and Kirsty to yeah. see if we can get more comments. When, so this <laughs> so is what, keep commenting. Yeah, like me and Kirsty said, I know we say we're competitive, but we are extremely competitive. We are, yeah. Yeah, extremely competitive about everything. Um, because, you know, why not? Why not? Um, but here I've got is the Lytrax 4, and it's in the cinnamon colour. 
It's available in cinnamon and it's also available in coal. Um, and it's a really, really nice popular one for when people say, I just want a second stroller just to kind of get up and down really easy, um, but that will last because um, it's quite big as well. Looking at some of the features on here, um, you do get a really nice large seat and it's quite tall up um, here. Not quite as tall as something like the baby jogger, but it is a nice big push chair still. You do get your five point harness with your one button release. Sorry to interrupt you, Georgia. I have got a couple of people asking about different push chairs and if the foot muff will fit. Like we say, it is fairly universal. Yeah. If you are looking for a specific push chair, like I say, just send us a Facebook message and we'll send you a picture. If we have the push chair in store, yeah, we can send you a picture. we'll send you a picture of it fitted. Just to put your mind at ease if you want us to. Yeah. Um, but because I just see someone, I mean, they flash by so quickly. Yeah, but I just saw someone asking about a Bugaboo through. Fox 2, and that one, um, it will fit on yeah. there, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll go. But like I say, if there are any specific ones you want to know, just send us a message and yeah. we'll happily do a photo for you. Yeah. I say most will kind of, most push chairs we have in store, so we can kind of show you and what they look like on there as well, because yeah. you want to see how they look too on there, which is quite nice. Footrest, you've just got two clips, one, in, one underneath each side and then you can drop your leg support down and then you've got your foot plate here so if child one gets they get oh, i can't get my words out saying when they get to that point where their feet reach the end they have got that room there oh jenny roberts has said i love this joy i had this in coal only got rid as had another baby and needed a twin highly recommend it is really, really nice yeah. see so that's from it's that's not one from of my us, that's from somebody else yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone that's actually purchased this so yeah it is really really nice um, I love the cinnamon colour as well. It's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit, bit different, a bit pop There's a lot of people on here saying, actually, they love the colour. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, and I like how, for a kind of a standard stroller, it's got some really nice features. So you have got a zip extension where you ventilate a panel on either side, um, which is really, really lovely. Um, I do like that. And then you also get your ventilation at the back. So lots of ventilation, perfect those summer months. But then, one of my favourite... <laughs> is the snack tray <laughs> everyone loves a snack tray um it is a removable snack tray but you get two cup holders um but if you only only one of you and you only need one drink it's fine you know one for you and one for little one yeah but say you've you've finished your drink you've got two then snack pots it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but you have got your middle part in here so you can kind of put your keys or anything you want easy access to or yeah. probably what i would use it for is snacking on the go <laughs> Georgia, Georgia loves a snack. I love a snacker. I'm a, I'm a bit of a snacker. I'm not going to lie. I was ready for my dinner at 10 o'clock this morning. I was like, yeah, I've got dinner time. <laughs> I've got someone here, Sammy Nicholson, is asking if we think the Joy is going to be lighter than the Reflex, has the Reflex currently, and finds it a bit heavier. So we'll do a little weight test in a minute. Yeah, I don't I want know the actual that, figures. It, I want to say the way this folds, it will feel lighter. Yeah, but what I don't know whether it actually is, is another kettle of yeah. fish, isn't it? Because that's it the thing, be. it could be similar weights, but obviously, to put, depending on how it folds and how you have to pick the pusher up, it feels very different, doesn't it? Yeah. It's surprising how different it feels. Your handle on here, um, it's just one height, so it doesn't extend or change um, in height or anything like that. It is one standard height. I mean, again, five foot six. <laughs> <laughs> five foot six gives me a bit of an idea. Um, it's quite a nice height for me, personally. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a nice height at the back. You have got an easy break, so just a flick on and then flick off. So really easy to do and really easy to find as well, which I quite like. And then for a stroller, because most strollers tend to have a smaller basket, it has got a really nice deep, deep basket in there. Not necessarily really long, but it is really, really deep. A lot of people are on, with you on the snack front here. Yeah. <laughs> Snacking on the go. It's not we baguette love, friendly. We love a snack tray. <laughs> snack, 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 snack. <laughs> what snacks would you put in there? Let me know. <laughs> I'm trying to think now, what would I have in it? I don't know. If it was uh, Kirsty, she'd have a Kinder Egg. <laughs> God, God, that'll soon get messy. Kinder Egg's in there. I don't know. Yeah, she'll just, you know what Kirsty would do? This is such a Kirsty thing. She'll have Kinder Eggs and she'll stack all of her toys in there. Yeah. She'll have all the little toys that she gets. She loves the Kinder Egg, mm. Kirsty does. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. The only thing that I would say with this push chair, it's got a smaller, shorter weight limit on it. So it goes from birth because it does recline um, completely flat. So it goes from birth, but it um, go, only goes up to 15 kg. So it's only 50 kg weight limit. 
Um, so it's sure. roughly, yeah. I mean, it's the average three-year-old, we say, isn't it? Yeah, average three-year-old. Average, average. If you're looking for one that wants to last a little bit longer, something like your 20 to 22 kilograms, and um, we've even got one that's 25, so I say there are more, but it should be fine, depending on... Depends on child, doesn't it? I was going to say, every child, thing is, every child is different. Some children are lazy, some children don't yeah. walk on the, independently until they're a lot older, whereas yeah. others, are, as soon as they're on the go, they're on the go, and you can't get them in a push chair for 11 minutes. Yeah. So it, um, it really does vary. It but varies, it is something it? to always bear in mind when you are looking at push chairs, the weight limits on them, because guilty as charged, I didn't. No. And I was caught out. Cause I, yeah. But my boy has always been in the 90th percentile, and he is... Yeah. Tall, he's big. yeah, he is tall, isn't he? Yeah, really tall. Um, but I, I blame really... his father. <laughs> I quite like this one because of the way the seat kind of sits back up, there's no drawstring effect, it's simply just clicking and pushing up into place. You to recline, you're just using your bar at the back, so you're just pulling up on the bar, and that will recline. And I say, just clicks up really nicely. I just like how easy and simple it is to work. You can have a car seat on here. So if you're wanting to use this one, Beth, you can use an infant carrier. It's hidden in here. It's at your bar. What you do is that will kind of sit um, at the bottom of your infant carrier. You'll put the seat in the life flat position. It will click into place for you. Um, so it is really, really nice. You just need the adapters. Um, and it's say, just really, really nice option to have. If you are just wanting to use this um, from birth, you can lock and unlock your Joanne wheels. Joanne has suggested pick and mix in your snack tray. Oh, that is a good shout. <laughs> pick and mix. Do a sweet? Pick and mix. Yeah, do love a sweet. Do you know what we could have at the minute? Biscuits. We have so many biscuits in the office <laughs> at the minute. Just stack my biscuits it's in terrible there. for biscuits. Yeah. I do also um, have another question. I've just lost it now, so I'm really sorry for the name-wise. Someone saying that they're not keen on the red. Does it come in other colours? It does. It comes in coal, which is your black, yeah. and it also comes in a grey, doesn't it? Yeah. Which I cut off top of my head the name escapes grey flannel probably there's so many different names for grey grey flannel <laughs> grey melange <laughs> grey mist grey mist we don't well, know just call, we, it we comes said, in grey we have this discussion all the time grey charcoal mm. not like grey melange or like no. yeah slate I call everyone grey grey melange <laughs> or I go this is grey uh, grey uh, grey flannel I'm like no no that's joy um <laughs> I can't remember the name of this one. It's, it's grey. <laughs> but they yeah, all come in a shade of grey. They all do. Or is it um, gorgeous, gorgeous grey? Oh yeah, that's another one. Jewels, gorgeous grey. The sky is um, the limit. The limit. <laughs> the sky is the limit. <laughs> that was not what I was going to say. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say now. But yeah, the fold on this is very similar to, in a way, to your baby jogger. It's a kind of one-click fold on here so in the push chair seat what you get um it's if i just pull the material back here you have a gray button so what you want to do is push on your gray button and then pull on the black strap and as you can see the whole push chair will just click into place for you you can use your bumper bar and um, or your strap obviously to pick up um, and to hold into place but it's quite a nice one i love it's freestanding it free as well stands, which is really really nice um, and I wouldn't say for a stroller, it's quite compact, really. Um, it's not too bad, is it, at all? Fold shape is basically exactly the same as the one we've just looked at, isn't yeah. it? So very, just a very little similar. bit less, not quite as long, I would say. Yeah. Um, but it is a really, really nice one to look at. I think the fact that it freestands is a big bonus. Yeah. Because like I say, when it comes to letting it out, you don't have to put that fabric on the floor. No, if you wanted to need to store it in your house, you can just tuck that away, um, out of the way, really, really nice, off you're out. If you want to roll that out and about again. Um, yeah, you can do. And it also makes it when easier. We're when we're released. When we're released from our houses. <laughs> um, I've just got Claire Henson here. She's put, I was wondering if you could please do a live with the different kinds of Greyco push chair. Now, unfortunately, we don't stop Greyco no. at the moment. Now, that may be subject to change. We don't yeah. know yet. We're always yeah. expanding our ranges. Yeah. So keep an eye There's out no specific because you never know. As to why we don't. And wait until Joe picks me up because I've probably said Greyco wrong because she always picks me up yeah. on the pronunciation yeah. of things. But there you go. Yeah. I said it. I've committed well, I've to Greyco. I've been saying Yipsy wrong all this time she's like it's not gipsy it's ipsy I'm yeah. like, oh okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> yep yeah we're, we're doing you know we're, we're learning we're learning with everyone else um but yeah it is really so there's no reason why we don't stock gray comb because like, i say it right <laughs> um it's just again yeah, we're just kind of expanding our um brands is there any product that you've seen that you really like any brands the things that you quite like let us know yeah again we're always kind of open for recommendations i know when we did our nursery video 
we, ha we don't really stock video, um, what are they called? Babe monitors, sorry. Babe monitors, we don't really have them. Um, not many anyway, so we were kind of looking at suggestions. Is there any that you've seen that you really loved? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we are kind of open up and kind of, what would you like to see? What would you like to kind of um, to, to see on our website? And yeah, because um, there's quite a lot, isn't there? There's quite, products are coming out all the time. I mean, there is, if you bought everything, every yeah. baby product out there for your baby, trust me, you would not have a house big enough. You no. do not need everything, but we like to have everything. Yeah, we do. if you want it, we've got it. <laughs> We were like, oh, we've got this really nice big furniture stem. We've got so much room. We've already we're out, yeah, we've outgrown the furniture. Like, it's, it's crazy. We've kind of run out of room. But, um, but yeah, it's, it, there was just a lot of products to look at. But, yeah, let us know if there's anything that you want to see, um, any specific products at all. Josh Joshy has just said that that's a nicer recline compared to the other one. I think, we'll obviously, with it being a... Yeah lever as opposed to the drawstring they yeah. can be a little bit easier sometimes there are your people, drawstring yeah yeah we have had feedback in the past that say that sometimes the drawstring is a bit difficult sometimes to do. it get twisted um or, but, but it's, it's it's one of those things it's one of those fine details chair, that you need to look for yeah when it's your only push chair you kind of get used to it don't you yeah you kind of you know how to work it and things um but i must admit it is a lot easier to kind of to pop up and down getting it back up and um, you've just got your catch here on your left that then will release your handle and i just then bring it back up into place and reposition my seat. So it's super, super easy. No fabric will be touching the floor um, and it's a really, really nice one to look at. I really like this one. Pricing on your um, Lytrax 4. You got prices there, Laura? Um, yes, sorry. Uh, so your Lytrax 4, it's, it's a really price um, what you get. 150 pounds. 150 pounds, yes. 150 pounds for a really nice compact stroller. Again, it's quite, I do like it because it's really sturdy when pushing. It, it does is. feel really, really nice to push. Yeah. So if you are quite outdoorsy, woodland walks, things like that, it will be great for that. I love this little community we've got going on here because someone asked, my girlfriend is five foot nine, is this long enough? And someone's answered them for Aww. us. I do to be fair. Because Helen really, really Knight nice. then put, my, I'm five foot nine and my husband's six foot, it comes to my hips and hubby can't even use it. So we skipped past buying. So yes, if you yeah. are on that taller side, it probably is a bit low. Yeah, um, just because of the... I would be comfortable with it. So I'm five seven, as we said. So yeah, yeah maybe five nine and up, you're probably looking a bit a bit yeah. limited, really. You just don't want to have, you just don't be too stretched out, do you? And when no. you're thinking, you also don't want to be um, too close to the push chair either, because obviously you've got to pick up curbs. You need that natural bend. It's a bit like your driving position. You need a bit of a natural distance yeah. from, so it makes it a bit easier. Yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to get caught up. They come through so they do, quickly. They do, they come up really, really quick. I'm not fast enough reader, obviously. Come on, get your comments in. Laura, get really confused. <laughs> oh, what is the weight limit on the Joy? We've already covered that, so I think that must... I'm on my way back, aren't I? Yes, 15 <laughs> kilograms on yeah, your Joy. Yeah, 15. So it goes from birth all the way up to 15 kilograms. Oh, Kira Bland has eight weeks left to go. Oh, wow. Oh, not long, not long. Oh, we want to... Um, yeah, we want to know. What, what push chair did we go for? Um... Yeah, and we want to see pictures of babies. Yeah, have you got your push chair at home already? Yeah. Or are you still, still looking? Is there anything else you like, you're kind of looking at, waiting to kind of see? Because um, again, if there's some certain products that you're waiting to look at, we could always do a live again on those sort of... Yeah. I know a lot of people are asking for side-by-side -side push chairs, because I know we did one yesterday on tandem push chairs, um, but obviously the alternative would be Helen a side-by-side. -side. Knight. Helen Knight, she just keeps replying to people for me. Look, she knows I'm That's struggling it. to keep up with the comments. We, we just need to leave. leave. <laughs> you don't need me. <laughs> um, so if someone's put Baby Jogger looks the best but is quite pricey. So yes, she yes, is obviously yes. in comparison to 150 Joy, your Baby Jogger does seem a lot more... Yeah. Um, but that's why we thought we'd bring out yeah. four different ones with different price points and different features because it is, it, it, there are differences in what you, what what you, you get. get. Yeah, really, yeah. with all of them. Um, but say everyone that has commented, thank you. Say just join in with the chit chat. Say or answer our questions for us. <laughs> um, <laughs> Keep going, Helen. It's fine. I'll just sit quietly in the corner. <laughs> we'll just sit in our cocoon for month. We'll be fine. Um, but today, um, so all the comments, we are giving away the cocoon foot muff from Claire de Lune, and it is the black colour. It's universal and will fit on most push chairs. Um, if you do have any questions on if it will fit on yours, just send us a message and we're happy to try it on your push chair. If we um, have it in store. If we have it in store. <laughs> if not, we most likely will know the answer whether it will fit or not. Um, but yes, it is really, really nice one to look at. 
and I say we will be drawing the winner at the end of the live. Someone did ask, and I'm sorry, I think I missed it or name wise, but someone did ask what age this goes up to. There's not really a set age that you use no. them to. It's basically based By on size. size of little one. Um, so yeah. like we say, the beauty of this one is if, if little one's legs do get too long, you can take that bottom compartment out. Yeah. So you could carry on using it for a little bit longer, I yeah. would say, than, um, than some of the others. Obviously, just make sure the feet are wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> just don't put Charlie barefoot. That's, that would be a bit cruel. Yeah. Not lie. Do you stock Ickle Bubba strollers? That's from Stacey Morgan. Yes, yeah. we do. Um, they yeah, are on display in store as well. So you never know, they may appear on a live at some point also. Yeah. Um, how much was the baby jogger again? The baby jogger was starting at, oh, oh, I've lost it. Starting at, at the moment, some of them are on offer for £404.10. Yeah. That was for Josh, Joshy. Um, right then, so I think I'm, I think I'm reasonably caught cool. up. I don't know, they just keep coming. They just I'll, keep going. I'll, Everyone I'll wants to win our foot muff, that's what it is. Yeah. But it is really nice because obviously um, we do show a variety of different products and it's quite nice seeing the same sort of people coming back or similar um, if you're sharing it with friends and family, obviously. It's quite nice because it, you just see different people all the time, people yeah. commenting. Franco Romeo, we'll just cover this one real quick. He's put, our baby is due at the end of May. When would you think is the best to order our pushchair? So I'm a planner. I like yeah. to have things in place. Um, I think I started looking when I was 20 weeks when it, with mine. Yeah. I would say to people, maybe look at placing your order around the 30 week mark, gives you 10 weeks, yeah. seven weeks till you're officially full term. Yeah. Um, and then you're, you're quite covered really. Yeah. I mean, there is a good turnaround with a lot of the, lot yeah, of the most of them we um, do kind of suppliers, but in the current circumstances, obviously delays you can happen. Know. So it's always yeah. best to be um, It's always prepared. best if you want to, you can always have a look. We do have our video consultations at the minute. Um, so you could always look at a variety, get us a bit of an idea what sort of ones you are looking at and what you quite like about sets of push chairs. And then it comes to that point where you are around that sort of time where you're wanting to purchase, you already know what you're looking at. Um, and you can always kind of keep up to date with what sort of delivery time it will be um, yeah. as well, which is quite nice, yeah. isn't it? Um, for example, um, we, there's certain brands that we have got um, that do have some slight delays just because yeah. of natural circumstances that are, that are currently going on. Um, I mean, COVID was bad enough, and then you had Brexit and everything. And then you had Christmas, and, and then you just had kind the of snow, like, yeah. And yeah. <laughs> it's just, you know, we, we love it. That being said, anything that we do have in stock on our website is next day delivery. Yeah. Um, but no, so yeah, I, I would say, so if you, yeah, I always think 30 weeks is a good time to yeah. sort of maybe be committing to a decision at least. Yeah. It gives you that good long window. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, definitely. So this one I've got here is the Silver Cross Reflex. It's more of like their umbrella stroller, but it's it's more their higher end, isn't it? It's kind of their bulkier kind of. Yeah. I don't want to say it's bulky, bulky, but it's not. It's, it's just feels really nice and sturdy. It's if you slightly, are looking for slightly one, taller, it's got the slightly bigger wheels yeah. as well than the. Um, yeah, and it's got some really, it's really nice premium feel to it. Really thick material on here as well, which I really really like. You do get <clears throat> your hood extension. So zip extension all the way around, and then your hood completely comes forward, which I really, really like. So it's near enough full coverage um, on your child there. That then brings out your ventilated panels. You have one either side, and then you also have one um, along the back, which is really, really nice as well. Perfect for those summer months if you are having that hood all the way over. But if you're not using your hood, so you can just click that back into place, pop your zip back on. You then get your peekaboo window here. So like we say, child will be world facing, so you can't necessarily see them as much. You do get that nice big window with what we could, love a magnet, magnet on there, um, just to keep it back, which I really, really like. Click that back. You've then got a pocket at your back here, so you can kind of keep your, uh, your phone, your keys, anything you need that easy access to. Um, which is really, really nice. Snacks, you could just use that as a snack pocket. As well if you wanted. <laughs> she loves a snack. <laughs> I love a snack. Um, but I like the fact your material completely comes down. So what you do when it comes to ch child laying down, the material kind of sits nice and flush. And then the fold method is very similar to your joy. If I just took this up so you can see, you've got this red push button and you want to pinch and lie down. So really, really nice. And then obviously as you want to sit this one up, it's just clicking back into place. 
So Emma Davies has just put, how is the silver cross for suspension? The wheels look quite small. So at, for these four, yeah. it probably is um, the slightly sort of more urban-esque yeah. stroller out of the four of them, I would say. Um, there's still obviously that level of suspension in there. It's probably just not as... No, not quite as much as some of the others. No, and I think as well, the double wheel aspect that is... Yeah, there's very, a slight very movement. popular in, in strollers. I do think that lends itself more to the urban, urban yeah. sort of walking, doesn't it, than the um, yeah. single wheel one does. But, but it is a bit, it's a little bit more steady than your standard kind of umbrella stroller, isn't it? Yeah. Um, which I really, really like. Um, I do like the big seat. So the big seat that goes from birth, and it's got a really high weight limit of 25 kilograms. So it's really long lasting. We'll completely see your little one through. Um, so that's around about your kind of four or five year olds. All the way through, um, you'll need a stroller for. You do get this built-in inlay, which I really like if you was to use it from birth. Um, or even if toddler's napping on the go, it just makes a nice, soft, um, padded place for little ones to place their head, which I really, really like. You get your um, really nice leatherette bumper bar as well. Um, and then you've got your two clip buttons and you can change the angle of your footrest. But again, a couple, a couple of different ones from your drawstring effect to more you're pushing up, pushing down on your um, recline on the back. You've got a nice size basket at the back here. It's a really nice size. Not, not necessarily your biggest, but again, with most strollers, you kind of lose your basket a little bit. Yeah, you're never going to get a basket on a stroller the same as you are on, on no. your sort of travel system pushchair, are you? But no, and especially with this one, because it's in, the way it folds, um, it is more of a compact um, umbrella stroller as such so you do lose your basket size a little bit in there and someone has mentioned the double handle so obviously this is the only one with two handles as opposed yeah. to the bar handle so some people prefer it um, we've had people in um, that prefer it for wrist support and things like that yeah. but then there's other people that prefer the bar um, someone did comment I'm really sorry I've lost lost names now <laughs> but someone did um, comment that um, they are really good but um, a bit of a nightmare when you've then got a small child's hand to hold. Yeah, that's the only thing. Because um, you can't place your hand in the middle then to kind of control no. the most of the push chair. Um, but, oh, there you go. It was Millie Isabel. The reflex is very comfortable both for parent and child, but the separate handles are a bit of a nightmare if you have more children um, and she thinks the fold is quite long. So, yes, it is your umbrella yeah. fold. It is your typical umbrella fold. Rather it, than but. the ones that kind of fold within, um, basically in half, um, it's, it is more of an umbrella fold. One clever feature on here, which is not very, it's quite unique on a umbrella stroll, umbrella fold, no, umbrella fold stroller. It's only Tuesday, Georgia, <laughs> we've got a lot of the rest of the week to go, come on. I, I, yeah, I just, yeah, I've got a Monday feeling on a Tuesday. <laughs> but you've just got an extendable handle, so click up. So it just brings it up ever so slightly, not by much, but it is enough just to change that height. So it's quite nice. Um, we do have first people coming before. Grandparents are quite tall. Yeah. And they want to use a. I think it's nice stroller. as well that if because there are couples out there that are one extreme and the other. Yeah. Um, so you'll never if, if that's the case, for instance, then what might suit one partner might not suit the yeah. other. So it's nice that they're giving you that option. Yeah, give you a, a good option there to kind of extend your handle, and then you fold. Like I say, it's an umbrella fold. Um, so your break is just pushing down on your red, and then what you want to do is using your foot. Pushing on your red in the middle, kind of taking the middle part kind of up and then clicking your button on the side. And then what you want to do is just kind of push that all within. So it is a typical umbrella stroll, so it's quite long. Um, it's a bit of completely different kind of feel to the others, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a bit longer, but it is narrower. Yeah. Um, if, if it will fit in your boot width-wise, I would say it gains you space. Um, yeah, as in like, and and boot. I think it would gain you some room that way. But no, it is on the on the longer side compared yeah. to the other ones that we've looked at. I have got a couple of people just asking how much this one is. So the Silver Cross Reflex, um, your starting price is um, again. It colours change the yeah, prices. Got it colors. So this one, for example, we have here in Brompton. The RRP for this is two seven five. However. We do currently have it on offer at £219.99. Yeah. So a bit of a bargain And you can get foot muffs and things as well. Um, yeah, you can get everything matching, can't you? Or um, we have got our Cleddle and Universal foot muff. Yes, we do. That we are giving away today. Smooth. I liked what you did there. Smooth. It's like I'm a professional at this now. <laughs> 
Um, but no, the other colours start from 250. So the Brompton's just their sort of um, upgrade on fabric, isn't it? So it yeah. starts a little bit higher at 275. Yeah. Um, but again, just um, just to kind of give a bit of a reminder, today the giveaway um, is a Claire de Lune cocoon foot muff. And it is a universal foot muff, so it will go on most strollers and push chairs. It's really, really nice. You put your zip along the middle. So full access, and it's really nice, fleecy, soft inside. Really lovely. Um, universal, just because you thread your straps through and you've got your harness strap there. At the back, you can probably just see the little slots in the material. So you're just basically weaving your straps through. Um, you have got the option to take out the bottom. So if child does reach the length of the foot muff um, before, or just doesn't, generally doesn't slide on their feet covered. Um, and then you can also use your drawstrings and basically just to kind of cinch the, the top in cocoon your little one in yeah um so nice. katie anderson how much is the cozy toes in the giveaway so if you were looking to purchase one of these um katie they retail at 24.99 yeah okay so you can squish it all in making it really really nice and cozy for your little one but they're really really nice i really like it's a really popular one because some of you don't necessarily if you've got, maybe got one with your your, your stroller sometimes they're a little bit shorter aren't they yeah um, ones that come with your push chairs if it's a bit of a shorter seat because they're designed to kind of go with the shape whereas something like a universal one is slightly longer and um, to fit most yeah. so it's quite nice katie louise sorry i've only just joined that's all right katie thank you're here for joining that's us. all that matters um do you find they all sit upright some i've seen lay back slightly even in the most upright setting so i would say this is a question i get asked a lot yeah um especially for strollers for older children um because you can get to a stage where um toddlers really really they don't want to no. they don't want to lay back they want to be up they want to be seeing everything they kind of tend to kind of um, bring themselves forward don't so they? i did have that instance with uh, with someone looking to buy the reflex and they did find that their little one was, was perfectly happy in there because it does go a little bit more yeah. upright in comparison, say, for example, to your GT. Yeah. Because your GT, that is the high. highest that's going to go. So it has still got that ever so slight yeah. recline Your down. Oyster is probably your next one, I would say. Yeah. That's a little bit, it's got a bit of a little um, recline there. Um, yeah. Joy's a little bit more upright. Yeah. But still could go a tad bit more. Yeah. I think there. that's when your bumper bars and things like that actually they do come in handy. Yeah. Um, I know that I know a lot of children that like to pull themselves up on this. So if they do want to be more upright, yeah. they will find a comfy position, even if the seat is a bit more reclined. It might just be a case of loosening off their harnesses just a little bit so they can pull themselves a bit more forward. But yeah. no, I do think that the reflex does have a nice upright seat on it. Yeah, definitely. Get it back up. You've just got your catch on your right there. And then with an umbrella stroller, typically what you're just basically doing is... Oh, look, Helen Knight beat me to it again, look. Oh, is she? Yeah, Katie Anderson, I think she said twenty four ninety nine. Oh, seriously, I just need to go home. Helen can do my job for me today. I'm going to go back. Oh. <laughs> I, need, I need to wake up because there's two catches on this. Then guys, no, you can't really There's two catches, one either side. Then all you want to do, if I just flip it around for you, is using your red at the back and push that down into place. Then you're locked into position and off you go. So it's a really, really nice one to look at. If you're looking for an umbrella stroller, um, it is a really nice option, definitely. And it's got a long high weight limit as well. Sorry, someone's just put Joe jo Jolie. I hope I've said that right. Rachel Duck has put foot muff look so suddenly. Do they do adult size? Yeah. I wish. I wish. <laughs> because we'd all yes, be they sitting do. in them. They're things. called sleeping bags. Yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, you can't drive a car while no, wearing it's one. It's not quite safe, is it? <laughs> they need to design one like this one, where the bottom comes out <laughs> and then you're fine. <laughs> yes, officer, I am being safe. I have got my feet out. You know, yep. it's all good. That's what we need. It is what but we no, need. No, unfortunately, they are just children's sizes, I'm afraid. Um, all right, I'm just catching up again. I'm just catching up. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's good. Great. It's good that everyone's commenting, though. I know. I'm hoping that we're going to beat yours and Kirsty's uh, top Yeah, come number. on, get your comments in. <laughs> um, learning so much when I've done just by looking online. Josh, Joshy again. Thank you, Josh. Yeah. We do try and help. Yeah. Um, no, Jolie, we haven't gone through the oyster yet. Don't panic because you just put out that one. one yet. That's the last one to go through. Um, these look so good. Da, 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 da. I'm just seeing if there's any questions that I need to answer. Um, how much is the Joy? With Joy, one just to recap, is 150 RRP yeah. um, on that one. 150 pound, which is a really good price. Price point on there. All right, I think I'm we all caught him. up. I think so. Whew, too much pressure. You can have it back. <laughs> I'm doing my bit in charge. There you go. You're putting pressure on Laura. Too many comments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Right then. Josh Sleaford only just joined, which is the best for all terrain. The ones we've got here are not necessarily kind of all terrain push chairs. No. Um, they're just kind of more your kind of bit of a um, bit more robust, robust everyday stroller. stroller. Um, if you are looking at kind of all terrains, so we have got a lot of really nice options, such as um, you've got your Urban Jungle by Mountain Buggy, your Baby Joggers, your Out and About. Um, but obviously, if you did want to look at any more in further detail, we do have our video consultations, so we can kind of show yeah, you how you're working just things. You can book one of those on the website or, if you need to. Um, we have had, like, we have done a few lives, haven't we, yeah. on some all terrain push shares. Um, so, yeah, you can always, um, if needed, you can always send us a message and we can kind of send you the link to those sort of videos as well. Right then, so last but not least, by no means least, is our um, Baby Style Oyster Zero. So styling wise, I would say she's quite similar to your Joy and yeah. your Baby Jogger one, isn't she? Yeah. So looking at your hood to start with, you do have this nice little pop out um, sun canopy there that you can extend and you do also get a really good midsection extension as well. And as you can see there, when Baby is sat up, there's not a lot going to get in there, really, is there? They're going to no. be nicely protected. It does also mean that when you do recline them, and I'm sorry because I have seen a few comments of people saying they're not so keen on the drawstrings, but the drawstrings are back. <laughs> um, so this one, it's just a pinch and pull it's for your recline there. So you can see there that even when they are fully reclined, they've still got that really nice full coverage on there. You've got your little pocket, Georgia. What got snacks your, are we going to put in this one? Your snack pocket, everybody. <laughs> So what we yeah. put in there today? Not yeah, forget handy, handy little snack pick pocket a mix. there. I'm gonna keep calling. It. Oh, that's it now. It's a pick a mix pocket. Pick a mix. Po Someone called it a knick knack tray earlier. I was like, oh I quite yeah, like that. I'm yeah, gonna call it a knick knack tray. Knick knack tray. Um, so we're just gonna pull on that cord. As in the knick knack crisps or your knick knack bits, bits and bobs. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't think of the knick knack crisps. I thought. Because I like a knick knack crisp. <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> I was thinking knick knacks like little bits and Little bits and bits bobs. Yeah. Let us know. Was it knick knack crisps or? <laughs> Was it? You need that little bits that you need with you. Let us know. Um, you do have a little peep window as well in your hood. This time it comes in the form of, it doubles up as your ventilation panel. Okay, so on those nice summer days, you're going to want to keep that open just to get a bit of air through. And it also gives you the chance to spy on people. People are loving one. this one. They're like, oh my God, that hood is amazing. The hood is The really colour is amazing. I think it's just different, isn't it? A, a, a bagel pouch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> a bagel pouch. Laura yeah. Marsh. Yep, if you're that keen on bagels, we've you got, can take them We're fed up now, baguettes. <laughs> bored, bored of them. We want a, baguette, a bagel instead. <laughs> we've had too many baguettes. Um, Snack pocket for mum or baby? Well, I would say for you, to be honest. But you need that energy to be pushing that push. Depends how generous you're feeling. <laughs> Although that being said, if I ever start a snack, Jackson licks it anyway, so yeah. most but of you it's okay, they're world faces. Put the hood over, they'll never need to know. Just make sure it's not a rustly packet and they'll <laughs> never know. Nick Nats, that's why Nick Nats will be good. I love a, I love a Nick Nat tray. Yep. <laughs> um, we have so you have got your adjusting calf rest there. As you've just seen, I'll pop that down, but you can pop it up. It's just operated with two little levers um, just under there. You've also got here a little handy pocket under here, probably perfect for keeping... I don't know, something really tiny. Um, <laughs> You're not going to get a lot in there and certainly no. no snacks in that one, but it is a little pocket there for you if you want it. You can pop your car frisk down like so. Your bumper bar has got a little button just on the side, so you can go open that and it comes on both sides or you can take it off if little one's not keen on it or you don't like it. <laughs> oh, Katie Louise, my son just sticks his, ha his hand out to the side and waits for snacks. <laughs> That's why you need a big snack tray. You just picture it, this little arm, just, I'm waiting. I'm oh, waiting. I need naps. <laughs> you break on this one, you find it your back right wheel. Okay, so it's just a little clip there. Kick it down to engage, and I'm just going to kick it back up to release. Okay, basket size, again, reasonably good size, and you do have, again, a little net pocket at the front which is actually ideal for keeping your rain cover in. Yeah. Um, because it sort of flattens it a bit for you. Because we all know, once a rain cover's been out, it never goes back. <laughs> as no. small as it did when it came in the box, unfortunately. But that's a nice, um, handy way of storing that in there. Um, oh, and look, you can put your adapters in there as yeah, well. Yeah, you can put all We've sorts. some other bits and pieces in there. Um, all sorts. No. So, uh, again, another good size, really, for your sort yeah. of stroller type. A lot of people are saying they're loving the colour. And other people saying, not so sure on the colour. Comes does it in come in different colour options? Different colours, yes, it does. Yeah, so a lot of the standard colours, don't they? It comes pepper, in. so that's your grey. Yeah, it's like a dark grey. Another, another name for grey. Um, 
It comes... Mercury. Yeah, your regatta, I think it comes in regatta. Yeah, which, which is, is a blue. Yeah, like blue. a denim blue, isn't it? It's like a guessing game, all these things. <laughs> <things. laughs> so, yes, it does come in other colours. Yeah, um, all, and it, they are all on our website as well, so you can yeah. see the, all the different colour options. I think they might be... Do we normally put links as well at the top of the live for each item? Yeah I, think we, yeah, we, yeah, I think we've got links as well, so you yeah. can kind of have a look. I quite like this one because you can have carry cart on here, can't you? You can have your carry yeah. cart, you can have your car seat. So again, like your um, baby jogger, this one can be used as your full three-in-one travel system if you wanted it to. Um, it's just a case of... Oh, look, that's why I left them in here. Handy, handy. Just a case <laughs> of putting the correct adapters on in place. So you take your bumper bar off, use your adapters, and then you can either put, like we say, a carry cart or you can put your car seat on there. So you could use this as your full travel system yeah. if it suited you. Yeah. Um, your wheel locks on this one, you operate two little spin... So the lighter grey parts there, you just spin those in. And then I'm going to push. And my wheels have now locked in place. So again, doing those more off-terrain yeah. sort of style walks, that's when you're going to want to be locking them in place. And They're then, still fairly good-sized wheels, aren't they, really? For, yeah. For, for a, a stroller. stroller. Yeah, definitely. A bit like your Joy ones on that little bit bigger side. So, um, And then folding this one, again, quite similar to these two. So I'm gonna, I've got a red button here, which is my safety catch. So I'm going to undo that, okay? I'm then going to come in here, and then underneath on the seat, I've got an extra bit of fabric. I'm then going to find the handle and pull up, like so. So we've got three very similar that are folded. The fold, fold, wise, fold is yeah. very similar, isn't it? So she doesn't freestand like your Joy, though. No, it doesn't freestand. Even if I put my wheels, I'm not going not, to not freestand. Fall. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put my wheels out and then just watch it fall. That's what we tend um, to do. Is it freestand? It? No, it just falls over. It's fine. Yeah, so. But it's quite compact, isn't it? It's quite compact yeah. for, for a stroller. I do like how compact it is. You can take your bumper bar off to take a bit of the, the height off. Yeah, but and that's easy to do. So not difficult at no. all to add that step Nice, in, easy to fold, a yeah. smaller fold. Your safety catch on this one you find on the inside... So it's just on the inside of your handlebar. Okay, so I'm going to release that and then just give the yeah. whole thing a flick. A lot of people are loving this one. Loving the, She's loving very the fact, popular in store. Yeah, liking the fact that it's a really nice, like it can be used as a travel system um, and how the kind of fold works. A lot, it seems like a really popular fold, which I really, really like. I think it's also a great option for if you have a little one that goes to grandparents a lot and you don't want to be giving mm. pushchair back and forth. I think this is a great yeah. option for so them. So you're saying, Push it, it's going to last all the way through. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a nice, because it's quite, quite, quite big as well. Um, somebody's asking, could you, could you stand it on its side? Technically, you could have it on its side, um, but obviously, it depends on the car. Every, every car is slightly different. Um, on, if you, one, you would have to take the parcel shelf off, most likely. Yeah. Um, and depending on how big your top part of your boot is, you might have to take the yeah. wheel out. What weight does this go up to? So your, um, your Oyster... So this is the Oyster, Baby Star Oyster Zero, and um, people are asking the pricing as well. So it will go from birth all the way up to 20 kilograms, so quite a long-lasting pushchair. Um, and the price point on this, you are looking at £249, um, and they say lots of different colour options available. If you wanted to obviously add a carry car, car seat on, it adds the price up, obviously. Um, but, yeah, £249, I think it's a really good price, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. And like I say, especially if it's something that you... You want to get that full use out of it, I think. Mm. It, it lasts a really good time. And like we said, the size of the seat, even if you have an above average child, um, they are going to fit yeah. in that really well. Going back to going on the side, if you did want to do that and you did need to take your rear wheels off, you do have just a little quick release button um, on underneath your chassis. So it's just a case of putting that button out and then you can pop your wheels off. Um, so again, that's something that you can do just to make it that little bit smaller um, should you need to on there so yeah so it's a really, really nice one to look at and um, so four different strollers from four different brands and um, so say you've got your baby jogger you've got your um baby star oyster you've got your joy light tracks four and then you've got your silver cross reflex so say four really different options and um, let us know let us know in the comments Fingers crossed, hopefully, people have been able to stay. I know people have got homeschooling and things like that to do, and probably yeah. a bit of lots, lots snow of day. busy. Yeah, um, but let us know, now that you've seen all four of them, which one kind of stands out most to you? What features do you like on an, a specific one? Um, because it's really interesting to know, 
And to be fair, we did with our Casato, we did the Casato, the Prestige, so the Casato, oh, sorry, con Continental, the Prestige, um, and is it a Vinny? Asti, Vinny yeah. Asti. And we kind of said one, two, three, what would people think? So let us know. What, how would you rate them? And if you had to choose, which one would you decide? Mm. They are four or different, so it'd be interesting to see what you think. Um, Joe Lee says, small fold, small fo pushchair folds get, get even smaller. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? You can get even... It surprises a lot of people how small they can get now. Yeah. It is yeah. really, really nice. I, I um, had a consultation just this morning, actually, and we were discussing the differences and the, the perks, and this and either between going for a smaller compact or going for a middle compact. And there are sacrifices to be made either way. You yeah. either com compromise on your fold and you go a little bit bigger, or you compromise yeah. on, for example, There's no the perfect push for so, everyone, is no, there? No, no. And that's the thing. And everyone ha wants slightly different... Everyone's life needs a slightly different criteria, really. Like, for example, yeah. you're really outdoorsy, aren't you? So the baby jug was perfect for Laura because she went out... And didn't, she didn't, you didn't really need a push head to kind of go over. Like, you didn't necessarily really spend city. No, no, I, don't, I have big boot. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I generally am out in the countryside. Yeah. <laughs> and you just like one push that would just last and just get up. Yeah. It just worked with yeah. you, know, which, is, which is really, really nice. Um, asking, does the joy come in different colours? It does. This is the cinnamon colour, but it is also available um, in grey and also in coal, which is their black colour as well. Which go lovely with the um, black foot muff. Yes. <laughs> so, do we think we need to announce our winner? Yeah. Get your comments in, people, um, and see. Um, we're going to announce, aren't we? In about yeah. in a few minutes, we're going to announce the winner for the Claire de Lune Universal Foot Muff. Um, and what we'll do is Laura will just say stop. I'll stop scrolling through the comments. And yeah. But yeah, I, a few people are saying they are like they're loving the baby. They're kind of giving their list now, which is quite nice. Oh coming through and um, the baby jog was amazing but it's a little bit too expensive kira bland i'll let you off i'll let you all off yeah it's fine <laughs> it, especially if it's something as like a second stroller maybe yeah for a secondary it's, it is a bit it is it, you are paying a little bit more um but kira bland will go baby jogger oyster joy then silver cross oh exactly how we have them there you go it's like we knew <laughs> it's like laura knew laura did know um joy what's the price and can you fit boogie board on it if if so which one is best please um, so the Joy is £150, and this is the Light Tracks 4. Um, they don't make a boogie board, and it's not suitable to have a boogie board on here, um, just because of the way the stroller is um, on there. The back axle is too high up, so unfortunately, no, it doesn't have the ability to have a boogie yeah. board on there. You might find some universal brands of boogie boards will say that they are compatible, but it, it just, just, yeah, it's always a good idea to check. Yeah. Rebecca Robinson says the reflex is her favourite. Yeah, it's a really, really nice one to look at. Oh, everyone's going, good luck. Fingers crossed, everybody. Yeah, so everyone get your comments in and say, um, we will be announcing that in a couple of minutes. I prefer Joy or the Silver Cross. Yeah, it's just nice. I, I like it now. I think it's um, also interesting that there is such a range of likes and dislikes and mm. this, that, and the other. I remember reading a comment when I was trying to catch up with someone saying that they don't trust three wheelers, and that's absolutely fine. If you yeah. feel uncomfortable pushing one, then you everyone's don't, different, aren't they? Everyone's different with them. So yeah, so yeah. That for that reason, this will probably be bottom of that yeah. pile. <laughs> Jolie has said, so her order is oyster, joy, baby jogger, reflux. reflux. She doesn't necessarily love an umbrella fold. So everyone's, it's yeah. Like Debbie says, literally, she put the words into my mouth, it swings and roundabouts. Yeah. Literally. You, you, it's whatever, whatever suits um, yeah. one person may not suit the next. We always say, if, if, you, if you ask the staff what's your favourite push chair, none of us will say the same. No. And it probably changed the next week, let's be honest, if it's me, it does. Yeah. You <laughs> I like this one today. <laughs> you have a favourite of the month, don't yeah. you? <laughs> I was, uh, interesting fact, I did love the Cybex Ballet. I do still love the Cybex Ballet. Um, but again, you, 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 more, it's more tense, but to, it, for us anyway, being in shop and doing video consultation, it depends kind of what you're showing. Yeah. I think if you don't show one for ages, you go, oh, I really like this one. This is the one I'll have. <laughs> yeah. And then you go, oh, actually, I'm not playing I with really this one like this one. one. <laughs> That's the joy of the job. Mm. It's the bonus of the job. You yeah. get to try all these amazing products. It's great. Does always have a snack bar attachment? No, unfortunately, it doesn't have a snack bar attachment. Mm. Um, that's not on with the oh it has it's got a pocket though it has got a pocket on the back of the hood yes mm. your baby jogger you can buy a snack tray for a little one but then you're going to lose all your snacks to the little one because yeah. it would sit in place of a bumper bar yeah. but, uh, and we don't want that no <laughs> we want the snacks for us <laughs> snacks need to be up, up here okay and you give one for you <laughs> buy for me <laughs> that's how it should work 
Right, so thank you for everyone uh, for joining our live today. Um, but if they get your comments in and we're going to announce um, the lucky winner, they will get the Claire de Lune Universal Cocoon Foot Muff. Um, I say, and we'll get that sent speaking out of of, today. Speaking of pockets, <laughs> there's a pocket! There's a pocket at <laughs> the back of your foot muff. I'm not entirely sure what you're going to be able to keep in there. Maybe you could like but the, your second stash of snacks. <laughs> when the child finds the first stash, you've got your second stash there. Emergency or stash. you could go, right, while well, the child's in the push yet, right, there's your snacks. You just have to reach them away. <laughs> or let's be ever practical like Joe. Put a spare nappy in there and <laughs> you've always got one with you. You know, yeah, you know the different people. We think food, <laughs> Joe thinks nappies, you know. She's a mum of three, she's gone, she's, she's done it Maybe enough. nobody cares about nappies when you full up, it's fine. <laughs> It's all good, it's all good. <sighs> oh, and Angelina said, another wonderful lives, ladies. Oh, thank you. Thank First you. First time we've been trusted on our own, so we're very grateful. Yeah, let us know, how did we do? How did we do? Thanks, girl, for the demonstration today. So, yeah, everyone's loving it, which is oh, really, really nice. Phew! We might be allowed back. We might be allowed back. If we're never back together, you know why? <laughs> <laughs> Joe's just gone, no, 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 girls, no. But, yes, yeah, so, so, I'm going right. to scroll. You start scrolling. Are you scrolly scrolly in? I'm scrolly scrolly in. Okay. I'm not looking either, so I am just going to literally just going up and in. Stop. Oh, so I've stopped on Claire Wright and she's asked, will it fit on a Baba Bing Raffi? Well, well, there you go. <laughs> we can go and take a picture and show you. <laughs> um, so well done, uh, Claire. Yes, it um, will. It will go it on a, yeah, it will go, we didn't even answer your question. <laughs> yes, it will go on your Tutti Bambini um, Raffi. And I say, if that's the pusher you got, then we would love to see obviously it on there when you receive it. Um, if you could just send a message to, um, to our Facebook page, um, just with your details, and we can get that popped on the van for you today, and it'll be with so, you tomorrow. Congratulations. Yeah, well done. <laughs> I'm just writing congratulations, because that's one thing I always forget to do, but I've done it. I've been trusted. I can tell Joe I've done, what I've, I've done my job. I've done what I've been we've asked. Done what good. We, we've done what we set out to do. Oh, everyone's saying, well done, well done, this is amazing, really lovely demonstrations. Oh, it's really, really We're nice. We're not in trouble then. We're not in Spare trouble. dummies in pocket or, or foot muff. Oh, that's a good idea. That yeah. is a good idea. Oh, I'd love to work in prom shop, had 72 push chairs. <sighs> wow. Wow. Got more than, more than the shop. Yeah. <laughs> No, maybe not quite. <laughs> yeah, what 72 push did you have? Let's know. <laughs> I would love to know actually what push you had and why, what made you have that there many. Are some, yeah, there are some people that literally would just keep like, buying yeah, them. Keep changing. Just, like handbags, just yeah. keep changing them. Yeah, I think I'll be one of them. I think, I'm slightly worried. You are a bit fickle, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Oh, I like this one today. Yep, I'll have that in my basket. <laughs> that would be me. Whereas I'm quite committed. I'll choose one and I'll stick to it. Yeah. Any new project, I'm like, oh, I want to build it. Oh, I definitely have this. I definitely will have it. We'll see. We'll see. I may just be a one per share person. You never know. But yeah. uh, it's really, really nice. Everyone's really nice community here. Everyone's saying well done. And it is really, really lovely to see. Um, um, yeah. 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 Fingers crossed you've enjoyed it. I say fingers crossed it's been helpful and you have seen four different sort of strollers. Um, again, if there's any recommendations, anything you want to see in a live, let us know. And um, you can always send a message um, or I comment. I did see someone ask about side by sides, and I do believe yeah. that that is coming yeah, soon. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's coming. But again, very specific. What sort of ones would you like to look at? If there's certain ones yeah. that you would like to see, and um, you've got your eye on, um, you're really interested in having. But yeah, um, thank you everyone for joining. Um, Fingers crossed you've enjoyed your, your Tuesday chit chat with us. Fingers crossed it's been fun. Um, well, we would love a snow day, wouldn't we? We would love to love to yeah, snow Yeah, we don't get a lot of snow No, day. we don't like snow day. We can just look at the snow from the window. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank you everyone for joining. Um, have a lovely Tuesday. And if you are out in the snow, have fun. Um, but yes, we will see you all back tomorrow, won't we? We're day live. Around 11 o'clock. Around 11 o'clock every day. If we're a little bit late, a little bit early. More often than not, late. <laughs> but we try our best. We try, we try, we do try. Um, but yes, thank you everyone for joining, and we'll see you, fingers crossed, tomorrow? Or? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.